Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica if you're new here and I'm going to do another video about my health coaching journey, how I'm health coaching myself for 12 weeks. I'm a certified health, wellness, life coach and I'm coaching myself. Yay. This, we're going to talk about my week 8 updates and moving into week 9, what my goals are. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos, go check them out. It's like a series, you get to know me really well. And yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, so looking back at week 8 and how it went. <sighs> okay. Well, um, my goals were to, um, again, continue to exercise every day, but it has to be like gym or a class or some specific activity like swimming, hiking, dancing, that kind of a thing. And did it fine, great, I feel good about it, I feel, <laughs> feel like that's like so normal to me by now. Posting on Instagram sometimes for a week, I, again, don't think I hit that goal and I realized I didn't even say I don't think I said to you guys but and I definitely didn't write it down that I wanted to make my Instagram like reset my mind around it where I treat it like a business I think I said that to you guys but I don't think I said that was a goal of mine and now this week I'm making it a goal like that is my business and that's what I do it for I mean, I care about it, I care about who is on, I care about my messages, but I want to deliver, you know, real life stuff and deep things and deliver it in a way that's really lighthearted and fun and uh, digestible. So, and I just want to put my content out there just because, like, I just, I feel like people need to hear what I have to say, you know? Just like I think we need to probably hear what you have to say. So you should be, whatever you learn, it's important that you pass down to other people because otherwise what's the point of learning it? So you can be selfish and have it in your brain, you know? You know? So that is now my goal. Um, And then uploading two videos for you to YouTube for a week. I feel like um, I'm doing that. The only trouble I foresee in the next um, couple weeks is I'll be traveling. I'll only be home four days out of the next two weeks and so that's going to be a little bit rough. So I'm, I'm trying, I'm going to try to stick to it. So yeah. Just gonna be a lot of, you know, work in between a lot of play. Um, and then tracking my water, um, yeah, so using that gallon jug and just having it, oh, my camera did like a weird twist thing, I don't know if you guys saw that, but using um, my water jug and just drinking like 75% of it is going excellent, I feel like it's the perfect amount of water for me, so continuing to do that, and then journaling every night before bed, it's so the best thing in the whole world. Like, I'm just so happy with that goal of mine <laughs> because um, it's just like, it's peaceful, it gets my thoughts out, I get, it's like a chance to free write and my brain kind of goes off in different places and one day I'll show you guys um, how I structure my journal but I write a quote at the top and I do this when I first get the journal. So I will write a quote at the top of every single page and it takes hours, like I think it took me like four hours to do it, four or five hours because I, you know, care about my quotes and then that is kind of like I read the quote and usually it's like so well suited for that day, it's magic and then I, I write, so it's, it's amazing and I love doing it before bed, really sums up the day. Okay. So continuing to do that, and then focusing on eating more protein, um, I'm still doing that, and it's so easy too, I, it, I like have it ingrained in my head, like, this is how protein, what protein source, blah, 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 and it's like, it's awesome, I love it. So continuing to do that, and I, I uh, don't feel like my body has changed, really, um, but 
we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, and then not eating past 8 p.m. is going okay. There's been a couple times where I've had dinner past 8, so it's a little bit, like, not as convenient, you know? So I have to eat dinner <laughs> unless I want to die. I won't die, but unless I really want to be uncomfortable because I get, like, really bad hungry headaches. Does anyone else get those? Let me know. They're really annoying. But yeah, if I don't eat, then I'll get like hungry headaches and it's just like uncomfortable and not fun. So, if I don't eat dinner by 8, then I eat past 8. Otherwise, I've been really good about it and snacking, I think, way less. But, that brings me to my new goal of the week. So, I have two new goals. One, treat my Instagram like a business. And two, um, intuitively eat which basically just means listening to your body, so paying attention to your hunger cues, your fullness cues, um, really what your body is needing, if it needs water, if it needs like like a certain macronutrient. Um, sometimes you can even like intuitively tell what micronutrients your body needs, like, wow, I'm really low on omegas or whatever, you know? So I'm going to start doing that just because... I will talk about my relationship with food because I feel like that's like so important and so a part of like just the human experience is, is having a relationship with food. But I'll talk about my personal relationship with food in an, a separate video because that would be way too long to talk about. But um, basically, I treat food as something that's like really fun and enjoyable and I love it. And it can also be kind of a negative thing because um, it makes me happy. <laughs> and when something makes you happy, you obviously want more of it, right? So that's usually why I eat like 4,000 calories a day, which I say that and I feel like people are like, oh, you're exaggerating. But like that's, that's literal. that's honestly the truth. Like sometimes it's more than that. Sometimes it's a little bit less than that, but it's about that. And so I am just going to focus on, um, this isn't like a goal that I'm setting for myself, but like having fun and finding enjoyment in my life outside of food and my diet and stuff like that. But I also, I'm just going to eat intuitively and really pay attention to when I'm like full so that I can be like, okay, I'm full. I can stop eating, you know, rather than like, oh, I'm full, but this is a good time, <laughs> this chocolate cake is really good, so I'll keep eating it, you know what I mean, sorry if you hear dogs barking, annoying, yeah, I think that's all for this video though, um, one thing that does make me kind of sad, <laughs> which I didn't think I would feel this way, because it's me coaching me, but clients usually around this time get a little bit sad, get like emotionally attached, like they're loving their process, they're, they're loving their coach, they're loving themselves more, and it's kind of like, oh my god, hold on, hold on a second, we're on week 9, that means week 9, week 10, week 11, and week 12, like, wait. <laughs> I only have, how many more sessions with me? Three or four? I don't know. Three sessions with myself. Blah, blah, blah. Four sessions? Three sessions. <sighs> I can't say that word. Sessions with myself. Oh, you're so frizzy. <laughs> Just got out of the shower. Um, and I'm kind of like, I don't want this to end. And I'm a little bit scared. Like, it's kind of scary because you're, like, you feel so supported and in this, like, just so carried. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. It's almost like you're just so carried and supported and and you have goals that you're checking off and it's kind of like, what happens next? Like, so I'm going to end my journey with myself after week 12 
and it's like but I don't I don't want this to end like I'm I'm kind of scared that if I don't have my goals that okay sorry my camera like freaked out a little bit what I was saying is I'm like so nervous my camera is going to freak out again what I was saying is I'm kind of nervous to end my journey with myself because it's like what if I like, like I have all of these goals and I'm doing so much and I'm accomplishing so much and I'm so happy with where I am and like what if I end things I and I stop having these goals set for myself that like I'm motivated to go into every week and then and then I stop doing the things that like I've worked so hard on staying consistent with so I totally understand why so many clients want to renew and stay with their coach because uh, of, of that. So I don't know, maybe I should continue my journey with myself or maybe I should test this theory out and see if I don't have these goals and I don't have my support system of me, weirdly, if, if I'll fail you know what should I do should do should I do another like 12 week coaching program with myself or should I try to not I would love your input on that and then see what happens if, if I if I don't have a coach let me know let me know I mean I always have support I always have so much support in my network but if I don't have the support of myself I wonder what would happen you know, but I also don't want to know, and I just want to renew with myself, pay myself again, you know? so, yeah, I'm just loving this journey, I really am, and I do have so many other videos I do want to share with you guys, and I hope that you don't mind that these videos, you know, take up one of the videos per week, but I think this is really important, it's really important for my story, it's really important for my health coaching career it's really important for future clients to see what the process is like so yeah okay i love you guys i hope you guys have a spectacular day and go play go have fun